Christian. Um, we have people from all faiths within the group, um, but we everybody knows that we are bold uh, with what we stand for and our culture and our values. Um, one of the things that you see this armband uh, which talks about Global Day of Prayer and 2 Chronicles 7, 14 and unashamedly ethical. And 2 Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. And I believe that's an instruction and a promise that God's giving us that if we humble ourselves and pray, we seek his face, but we turn from our wicked ways. And I think the things that we are reading in our newspapers and experiencing daily, the concern about ethics and values, we look about corruption, collusion, our papers are rife with it between politicians, business people. So those are some of the things that we stand for. And I believe that between the power group and the ACU group, which is now today the new power group, we have such a close-knit uh, belief that God is in control, that He has a plan, that He has a plan for Serengeti. I can say from day one, when Leon and Gideon looked at developing this piece of property, they ended up going to spend time in prayer. There have been intercession, prayers, even a small natural rock altar that has been built here. So this land is being dedicated to God. And I believe we're seeing the results of that blessing rolling out. If I tell you in this quiet market with high interest rates and uh, economic meltdown, to see the sales that are ticking in every week, every month, it is something which people cannot believe. There's an anointing and a blessing on this development. And I believe that God is going to see that anointing flow through the school, the golf club, um, the security system, the guards that are here. There's just such a peace, a uh, anointing over this property. And I believe people that are going to come and live here are going to find. I believe that if we do the statistics one day about the divorce rate, about schools and kids and things like, uh, you know, uh, crime and we think about uh, even kids and drugs and alcohol, I believe we're going to see that something is going to come inside of this vast property that is going to shock the world where a benchmark, not of the highest, but the lowest of these things will apply. That's my dream, that's my prayer, and I believe God is going to see that uh, 